The Red Sox have finally announced their five-man rotation for the season. I'll tell you what's good, what's not so good, and what to look for as the season goes on. Hey everybody, it's Paulie. Welcome back to This Week in Red, where we're talking all things Red Sox and Major League Baseball. So Bobby Valentine has finally filled out the last two spots in his five-man rotation. He's chosen Felix Dubrant as his number four starter and Daniel Bard as his number five starter. Now there's things I like about these moves and things I don't like. First, let's get to the one I like, which is Felix Dubrant. He's a 24-year-old left-hander who the Red Sox were very high on just a couple years ago before he came into camp last spring, overweight. He never really got himself going all season. He struggled with injuries and he never became the young pitcher that the Red Sox envisioned developing last year. But he came into spring training this year, rededicated, in shape and pitched pretty much lights out and pretty much made Valentine make him a starting pitcher because he's out of options. He can't be set to put, sent to Pawtucket without passing through waivers. So that was a big advantage for him. And he certainly took advantage of that by nailing down this number four spot. Hopefully he'll become another, you know, version of John Lester, maybe not as good. Left-handed pitching is important in baseball. And if you've got it and you can find it, you're at a big advantage. So hopefully Dubrant is the answer at number four. At number five, of course, there's Daniel Bard. He was the centerpiece of the offseason for the Red Sox. Their big move was to convert him from a reliever to a starter. It was pretty much uh, uh, a foregone conclusion that if he had any success at all in spring training, that they were going to go ahead with this experiment. I don't know that Valentine's 100% sold on Bard, but I think he's seen enough in spring training to realize that, hey, I got to give this guy a shot. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Because if his arm ends up being uh, as good as it's been in the bullpen, if he's as good as a starter as he was as a reliever, the Red Sox have really got something at number five. But I think he'll be closely monitored, and if he struggles in April, don't be surprised if Aaron Cook is called up from Pawtucket. Cook is a guy that they picked up from Colorado in the offseason. He's a sinker ball pitcher, and they really like what they've seen out of him. But he's coming off some arm trouble last year, and he just hasn't built up enough innings to be a factor for the Red Sox right now in the rotation. I think if he came into camp healthy, all things being equal, barred or no barred, I think Cook would be the number five starter because they really like his sinker ball and his ability to get ground ball outs and short pitch counts in innings. So it'll bear watching Bard in the month of April because Cook has an out in his contract that if he's not on the major league roster by May 1st, he can opt out and go to another team that will put him on a major league roster. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. I still would expect Cook to be called up uh, on, on or before May 1st as insurance. And if Bard struggles, you'll see Cook step in uh, to that number five role. So overall, I'm pretty happy with what's going on here. You know, it's too bad for Alfredo Aceves, who's now relegated to the bullpen. But Valentine knows that, you know, swingman is an important role on a pitching staff. And Aceves was outstanding in it last year. And he knows and he's made sure that Aceves knows He's going to be a very important piece of this Red Sox pitching staff this year. He'll be used in a variety of ways, and he's just a comfort zone for Valentine, and I think that's a good thing as well. So what do you think, Red Sox fans? What do you think about Valentine's decisions with this pitching staff, and what does it mean going forward for the Sox this season? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red.